hi there once again welcome to my channel i'm delighted to have you back on agiotech in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to transport data from a row to a column okay or from a column to a row in excel so basically this particular function will help you to display or get a better display of your data and then you can do some bit of modification we're going to use two ways we're going to use the dynamic and then also use a function for that you don't need to retype this data if you want to display it in a vertical in a horizontal form i don't need to retype this so i'm going to show you how you can do this in a bit okay so let's jump into action and see how we can do this in order to use the static one where your data will not change we can just go ahead and then say let's say we want to display this data why we can go ahead and copy the entire data we copy the entire data right click select right click and copy and then where we want to paste our data just select that place and go to and right click again and you go to paste special you just click on that and you can see when you click on that you move your cursor you can see paste special right click on that click on that and it will give you this dialog box once you get this dialog box all you need to do is to check what transpose when you click on the transpose and click on ok you can see our data has been displayed neatly and a horizontal format so basically this is how to use the transport data and but this one for instance the data is static and we'll change something in the main table if i change this one to let's say 890 and i hit enter if you change anything here if you change anything here the data will change to the vertical format the horizontal format will still be the same it will not be updated here which is ideally I don't accept that we can use a formula yeah but it's a formula called transport and we can use that to make everything dynamic so that is what we're going to use for our second scenario and see how best this can work remember to subscribe to this channel if you are new and also like this video if you enjoy it so let's see how we can use the formula to get this anytime we change something it will be updated for us accordingly so to use that let's select we have we have two columns that's the name column the sales column so we have to just select some column don't just count don't count okay to use the second option which is going to be dynamic we're going to use a formula and our data is in two columns so just select two columns you don't need to count it just select some few columns this way and all you do is that just go to the formula bar and just type in equal to transpose and i will select our data now we're going to select our data this way and all we need to do is that We'll press control shift enter and then it's going to populate the data into the source for us you can see we still have the same data but it ended at akosua it ended at akosua so meaning we have three more data that's eugenia set them and then randy so we can just go ahead and then drag this and it will give us something like this our data seems to be messed up but don't be afraid just go back to your formula control shift enter and then it will update it for you okay and it will give you a perfect data so basically this will help you a lot in analyzing your data trying to change your data to give a better view of your data you don't need to type everything from scratch all you need to do is to use this formula and then it will work for you there's another last formula there's another last procedure i want to show you which we can do by copying and pasting we'll copy the data once again once you copy the data within the home tab over here you can see we have the paste option over here let's indicate where we want to paste that data here and when we go to the paste option we have several paste options just move your cursor around and you can see we have transpose over here this option is saying what transpose when you move your cursor i can show you how your data is going to be displayed over here just click on that and then it will also give you that option so these are the ways you can use to transport your data you don't need to type everything or create the entire table from scratch and it's going to help you a lot like this video and share with friends if you really enjoy that and remember to always visit my channel for amazing and better videos on excel programming and other amazing stuff you can think of i'll be here for you and leave a comment at the comment section if you feel there's something better i need to do about this just let me know at the comment section and i'm going to prove on that thank you so much for enjoying this short tutorial till i come your way another time remember to visit my channel always and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming tutorial thank you so much bye bye